Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I'd like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about the 17 essential plant nutrients, counting our way down to Christmas with plant mist. And in today's video, we are talking about nickel. So fun fact here, before we even get started, just so you guys know, one of my favorite bands growing up was the Canadian band Nickelback. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. You either love them or you hate them. I really enjoyed them when I was younger. I still kind of like to jam out to them a little bit, kind of a touch of nostalgia. But nickel nonetheless is kind of one of the coolest micronutrients out there. It is just recently recognized as an actual 17 essential plant micronutrient. That means there's not a lot known about nickel or even the role it plays in plants, how to detect a deficiency or what a deficiency would even cause. However, they do recognize it as important enough to be used in the list of 17 essential plant nutrients. So the reason why nickel is newly adopted as, a, as one of the 17 essential plant nutrients is because it's used in enzyme reactions most notably, it is used with the enzyme reaction of turning urea into a usable form of nitrogen. So if you don't know what urea is or why it's not necessarily considered usable format for plants, then be sure to check out my nitrogen video on the 17 essential plant nutrients. That is the first video of this series and that will give you a better idea as to exactly what urea is. So because nickel is considered so new nutrient wise, it actually doesn't come as a standard element in a lot of fertilizers. So it's not something you can simply pick up at the store to then add to the soil. This means all the nickel present in your soil outdoors comes from elemental stores in the earth that would be caused from glacial rock or mountains, streams, rivers, that sort of thing. Just any sort of degradation of the earth's crust. What we do know about nickel and when it comes to plants is that it can affect, like I said, the urea uptake. So plants in desperate situations will uptake urea, which is ultimately not the best form for nitrogen uptake into plants and ultimately an excess of urea or nitrogen in the form of urea can cause an over fertilization or toxic levels of urea in the plant. So this can mean really soft new growth, very rapid new growth that can leave the plant relatively susceptible to things like disease and pests. So it can harm our plant and therefore the addition of nickel can help back urea proceeds off and then help the nitrogen or help the plant turn urea that has been taken in into a bioavailable form for the plant. So that may be in the form of nitrate or ammonium, which we talked about in the first video. A nickel deficiency would show up in a form that looks like urea toxicity because without nickel present we end up taking up urea as the form of nitrogen which ultimately can harm the plant now uh nickel in excess obviously is dangerous because it is a micronutrient it makes up very small portions of the plant so we don't want to do that either but that is literally it for nickel. Like we have no idea what this mystery nutrient is used for. All we do know is it's very important when it comes to metabolizing urea and using urea fertilizers with plants. That means if you're a houseplant person, you're using a potting soil, a coconut coir, anything like that, it's not good because you, you definitely don't have nickel if you're not using or mixing in a, um, a topsoil or some sort of inorganic form of soil, you definitely probably don't have nickel present only because like I said, it's not in your standard fertilizer. It's just recently was added as a, an essential nutrient. So fertilizing companies aren't even really thinking to add this yet. It's really, really cool stuff. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you knew nickel was a plant essential nutrient. I would be so excited to know how nerdy you guys really are. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.